breaking news all morning long. The man accused of killing execution style. Five of his neighbors, including a young boy, is caught now following a four-day manhunt. Several other people now we've heard are also arrested. It's this man, Francisco Oropesa, being held in jail. He was found Tuesday hiding in a pile of dirty laundry in a home about 20 miles away from where he allegedly gunned down those neighbors. Right now, Stephanie Haynes is live outside of the jail where he's being held. Stephanie, good morning. Adrian, good morning. Francisco Oropesa is inside this jail, and he will be there for the foreseeable future because this morning he's going to see a magistrate who will set his bond and read him his charges. That tip call came into the FBI around 5 p.m. on Tuesday, and by 6.30, he was in custody. And that tip led investigators to a home about 20 minutes away from the original crime scene. The U.S. Marshals, Texas DPS, and Border Patrol's BORTAC unit went inside the home, and that's where they found Oropesa in a closet hiding underneath a pile of laundry. Investigators still won't reveal who owns that home or how Oropesa might know whoever lives there, but they do say there have been several arrests including the woman they say is Oropesa's wife, and she is listed as the person who lives with him. She is booked in a neighboring county on a charge of hindering apprehension. Oropesa is accused of gunning down five neighbors, including a child, on last Friday. He was on the run for nearly four days. Investigators say one tip call on Monday afternoon was not a false alarm. Instead, it was a real sighting of Oropesa, but police weren't able to catch up to him. This latest tip led them to the right place on Tuesday, and now the focus is bringing justice to the families who lost their loved ones. I'm not going to say the guy's name. You guys know his name. He's in this jail right here. I don't think he deserves the, the glory for what he's, what he's uh, done. There has been several arrests, but I can't go into the details on that. We may have the weapon, but we have to wait for ballistics. He also wanted to address some concerns about the response time to the original 911 calls from the shooting. He says this is a small county. They have 32 sworn positions here at the sheriff's department and only a few patrolmen on duty per shift at a time. And so at the time of those 911 calls uh, at that place of the alleged shooting, one of the deputies on patrol was already responding to a report of an alleged aggravated robbery. And so then he was subsequently dispatched to the scene and he got there in about 15 minutes, which chief deputy says is actually really good time for this county. Adrian. Yeah, considering how far away everything is, the rural country roads. Thanks, Stephanie. In Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.